continues to still be a top trend in crafting. So I thought, why not get creative with it? Tie dyeing with shaving cream has been a popular method and today we're gonna try it out. But instead of using it on a traditional t-shirt or some type of garment, we're gonna actually use it on terracotta pots. These are a really fun craft for spring. So here is what we need for today's project. We're gonna be using the Tulip One Step Tie Dye Kit with these pretty pastels. We're also going to need a tin disposable container. You can also use a plastic one. You're gonna need some regular old shaving cream, as well as something to stir and move the tie dye around with. A plastic knife works great. We're also going to be using terracotta pots, and we're gonna use some white paint to paint them. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. I went ahead and painted my terracotta pots white. I'm letting them dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and prepare our shaving cream tie-dye. So make sure that you shake up your shaving cream really well, and remember, you can use the cheapest shaving cream available. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. We're going to line the bottom of our container with shaving cream, and you'll notice that it expands as you spray it, but we wanna fill the entire container. Now I'm going to take my plastic knife and I'm actually just gonna kinda whip it a little bit. I wanna mix it in and kinda make sure I don't have any empty pockets. I already went ahead and mixed up my tie-dye by filling them up with water to the fill line and I made sure that I shook them very well. Now for each color scheme, you wanna pick two to three colors. More than that may get a little muddled. So for this one, I'm going to be using my pink, my teal and my light purple. I'm gonna just sprinkle some of my pink tie-dye in in no particular pattern, followed by the teal and the light purple. Now I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to swirl my colors. Once you do this more, you can create actual patterns, which I'll do in my next pan, but for this one, I'm going to keep it simple and just swirl my colors. Now we're going to dip our first pot. Remember, I went ahead and painted this with white paint to give us a nice base so my colors will pop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to set my terracotta pot into my foam, making sure that it's fully immersed, and I'm going to roll it all the way through the marbling. And I can, ro I can roll it multiple times if I would like as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually let my shaving cream and my tie dye sit on my base for a few hours. I wanna make sure that the dye fully dries before I wipe off the shaving cream. You can leave it up to 24 hours and you'll notice that your shaving cream will actually start to evaporate and you'll just dust it off. All right, now I'm gonna experiment and try a few other sized terracotta pots and create some new patterns. Spring has sprung with how these pots turned out. I absolutely love the effect that the tie-dye had on the terracotta pots. Okay, so now some quick tips to remember when you're making this project. You're gonna wanna let your shaving cream sit on your pot for about 10 to 12 hours. So just like you would when you're tie drying a garment, you need to let it set. Your shaving cream will evaporate, so it'll be like a dust, and you'll wanna lightly rub that off with a paper towel. Once you're done, you'll want to apply a finishing coat. So it can be a clear spray coat or a decoupage over it to secure your pot so that it does not chip and it lasts longer. And remember, we started with a base of acrylic paint on these. All right. I love how these turned out. I think they're perfect for spring, for storing craft supplies and flowers. You can find more tie-dye projects over on my website, craftboxgirls.com and at craftboxgirls using my favorite Tulip products. And don't forget to check out Tulip's blog and their social media handles for other great projects from creators like me. That's it for today's craft. Happy crafting, friends. Bye.